I'm going to show you a few things on the Bernina 570 to help you know when and how to change your needle correctly. So number one, needles get dull. If you are finding any time that your thread is breaking, you're skipping stitches, or even just you hear kind of that little kind of tick, tick, tick to your stitching while you're uh, sewing a seam. That is a classic example of you need a new needle. So one thing that you could do is put a piece of fabric underneath your um, foot and lower the presser foot. That's gonna give you a little bit more room in this area for taking out a needle. Next, this screw is now a screw you can turn with your fingers. So just gently loosen it and then catch the needle on its way out. So as you are taking a needle out, you're looking for the flat side for putting your new needle in. And there's lots of different sizes of needles and types of needles. So there are different types of needles for different types of fabric. So make sure that you've researched which needle is appropriate for the fabric you are sewing. As I place the needle back in, I number one, right now the presser foot is on, but if I have just cleaned Clean this machine, I always put the presser foot on first and the needle in last. And then that way I have a location of where this point needs to kind of be positioned. And then all I have to do is bring it straight up. Now, as I bring it straight up, make sure you are getting it as high as possible before you gently tighten this with your fingers. If you don't get your needle high enough, well, that's gonna cause other problems. The other thing that you can do to check if your needle is high enough is to use your needle threader. And if your needle threader doesn't line up with the eye of the needle, that is a classic clue that your needle needs to be loosened brought all the way up and then tightened again. Let's talk about tightening the screw. Number one, you just need to get it snug. You do need to make sure that it's tight enough that the needle comes out, but make sure that you're not just totally over tightening this to all tightness because you can eventually kind of break things off. So there's that happy middle of tight enough so the needle doesn't come out but not too tight that you're over tightening this whole kind of top mechanism. If for any reason you cannot tighten this screw to keep your needle in and the needle keeps falling out, just have your local Bernina store help you with that situation. But don't be afraid to change your needle. It's the first thing I always ask when people call with questions is what needle size do they have in and do they and have they changed the needle? That is such the easiest way to get a machine to be running smoothly. You follow the flat side to the back, make sure it's at the highest position, and check and see if you have the thread thickness appropriate for the size of needle that you're working with. And in a last resort, sometimes a brand new needle out of a package cannot be as perfect as it should be. So just try another needle if you feel like you've done all these steps, but you're still getting not perfect results.